Shalom Rocha, good afternoon. Welcome to our daily afternoon. Pick me up a burst of Corona Chizek. want to thank our weekly sponsors, Freda Michael Harbader, in memory of their dear parents. Maka Sarma Shalom Elio, Yeshaya Leben, Rab David Yitzchak, Hadas Abbas Akana, Ramoshi Yisrael, and Gavriel, and Michael's brother of Yudah Leazim, and Ramoshi Yisrael, Aleim Shalom, the Heilig and Hashem, Shri Zachar, with tremendous continuous Elias and Hashem, and Ganein and Shamayla. Thank you, Mishpach and Harbader, sponsoring last week and yet again this week. I want to thank as well the daily sponsors. Sponsor, uh, Claire and Lawrence Gabe, our dear Claire and uh, Larry and Susie and David show the memory of their grandmother Ida Goldstein Yehudis. Bas Boruch Shmuel Aleh Hashem Lechol the Yard Site and the Director should contribute to the Elias and Shema and Gan Eden Shemayla Mechayel Lechayel Leila Uleila. As so back to the Corona jokes, we go. It's a crazy world how we are living in. How to quote. Ben Shapiro, uh, the famous columnist who said, uh, that kind of political commentator, that there's a joke going around the New York City Jewish community these days. Uh, why does the groom break a glass at the chuppah uh, to trick Bill de Blasio into thinking that it's only a riot and not, God forbid, a wedding taking place? I, this crazy world we're living in, as uh, Jake Turks pointed out, these clever Hasidic kids, and he shows a picture of Hasidic kids in Williamsburg, and they're making a carnival on Friday afternoon. I said these clever Hasidic kids decided to turn their carnival into a justice for George Floyd rally, and now the NYPD can't break it up. These bunch of kids, they put a sign on the wall, justice uh, for George Floyd, and having a Geshmak Erev Shabbos carnival. He says tonight's justice is for George Floyd Shabbos services are sure to be interesting as well. That's it. That's this crazy world. So in order to enter stores now, do I need to bring a face mask or a brick? 2020 It's quite confusing. You had people selling bricks on the sidewalks of New York City the other day. Odd can cock to the extent that a man took his little boy to the eye doctor and when the doctor asks him what he sees, he says, I see people dying. I see political riots. I see a world going absolutely crazy. So the doctor said, perfect, you got 20-20 vision. Okay. Uh, there was one store that wasn't looted, by the way. That was a Barnes & Noble. I don't know. The books just didn't interest them all that much. Uh, so life is too short. One political commentator points out, uh, make sure you spend as much time as possible on the internet arguing with strangers about politics. No, go for the Sfarim, or at least the Barnes & Noble books. Don't waste your time and blogs and all this uh, nourish guide. Get off of social media. Stop with the Facebook and the Snapchat and the Instagram, whatever all these things are on the Twitter. Twitter. Stop wasting away the time. Use the time wisely. Aye, but Rabbi, I can't be patient. I can't wait to sound any longer. I need things to fi- figure to fill my time. Uh, well, let's close. I had my patience tested. I uh, wanted to draw roads. I had my patience tested. I'm negative. Aye, Rabbi, say, we got to work on the patience. So let's move on uh, to the next one. Uh, this one's called The Last Meal. Uh, for Breezy, Jacques and Abe. Abe Goldstein, they're about to be executed in a foreign country. And they're asked what they would wish to have for their very last meal on earth. Uh, so for Breezy, asks for a pepperoni pizza, which he is immediately served and he enjoys. He is then immediately executed. Jacques asks for filet mignon, which he is served. He too is then promptly executed. Abe Goldstein requests a plate of strawberries. Uh, Strawberries, the executors ask. Yes, replies Abe. I want strawberries, uh, but they are out of season. So no, I'll wait. (laughs) All right, boys, say, why can't we wait? Why can't we be patient? This too shall pass. Uh, what does it mean to be an Anav? We just learned about Moshe Benu, the end of He was regarded by the Torah Kenosha as the Anav Mikol Anav Ashopane Adama. He is the greatest Anav, as Rosalind Ruven Vegas explains in the Flungus Rufe. You don't even have to write to Moan Moan. Why? Because he encompassed therein all of the Midas Anav of everybody on the world. Whether forever, Baal in the Safri, or everybody at least currently at that day and age, and he encompassed it inside him. Moshe was the greatest on oh, no. And what is Rashi Taich? Remember, Rashi written word for word, Apirach HaKadesh. What does it mean that he's the greatest on oh, no? Rashi says two words A Shofel Visavlon, A Shofel, A lowliness of spirit, Mo Mo, Havi Shval Ruach, Ah, to have the Shifla Suruach, I in Ramchama Sushasharim, when he talks about Beer Minas Anava Perachabes. 
I and the Rabbeinu Machai have a chovus of the Shar Kniya, Perak Zayin, Perak Tes, I give all the shiftless haruach. I, but in the end of the day, it's not enough to be an honor. Zok Rashi, an honor doesn't just mean a shofel. It means what the savlon, someone who has savlonis, someone who has mina savlonis, who has patience to be patient with other people. And as we've spoken about in the pre Shamas in the past, to be patient with time. I'm a Durabai say, I, my patience, patience was tested. I came out negative. Henceforth, you got to come out positive. We don't know when it's going to be passed, but don't waste the time on the blogs. Don't waste the time with the nerve strike, getting into fights with the political commentaries, daters. What's going on? Progressive liberals in the left, the rabbi say, we're not going to change that. We're not going to change them. And the more blogs you read and the more uh, back and forth political commentary, you're not going to change them. So let's stop wasting the time. Minimize that time in the internet. Fill it with Lehman HaTayra. Fill it with Asiyah Semitza Samas Samtayvim. Fill it with Chesed. Fill it with phone calls to people who you know need them. Connect with family members. Use the time well. At least Barnes & Noble. They're not looting that store. So take out the books and use the time well. Wisely, about get off the internet, get off the social commentary, get off of the political blogs, and use the time wisely. I, but Rabbi, I can't wait any longer. How you gotta learn to wait as one political comedian, as one comedian once quit. And my mother said, I'm such a procrastinator, I'll never accomplish anything in my life. And I turned to my mom and said, Ma, just wait. I just wait, and you'll see, Rabbi, say, this is the time to make it happen. I stop waiting around. Yes, wait for Corona to end, but maximize the time in the Interim, Agam Zayavur, this too shall pass, it will pass. Do we know when? We have no idea. When out the Nevi'im, Benay Nevi'im, Arab Chaim, we don't know. They're not telling us when it's going to pass. But what we do know is we could use our time wisely. Maximize the time, learn to be an honor of a shofa, but also a savlon. Display me the savlonis with other people, and even with yourself, vis a vis the Abishur and the Nisyona Sechayim. Take it easy, take a one step at a time, one day at a time, and just know this too shall pass. If God brought us to it, He is absolutely going to carry us through it. Be patient one day at a time, and maximize each and every day. Baruchnius, a little bit of Gashmius, but mostly Ruchnius, Ruchnius, Liman Atayra, be Machazik and Chaparain every precious second. Have a wonderful day and a gewaldic awesome week at bat.